My name is Frida Idivuze Mbabazi and I'm a Rwandan. I'm a member of class of 2023 pursuing mechanical engineering and I'm a MasterCard Foundation Scholar. For my senior year project, I worked on finding ways of providing affordable concrete for structural application without compromising quality. The main aim of the project was to provide affordable concrete for structural application, which could be building houses. And to achieve that, I worked with my supervisors and I did research. And through doing research, I found out that palm canal shells, which is mainly considered as waste, can be used as a substitute for the aggregates in the concrete production. Concrete is made of sand, cement, and aggregates. My goal is to replace a portion of the aggregates with the palm canal shell. This will make it more cheap because pumpkin nail shell is considered as best and can be obtained for free. After mixing the materials, I ensured that they were properly cured and then I had to undergo a series of experiments. And those experiments, one of them was the compression test where I was testing the load bearing capacity of the sample. Then the flexure test where I analyzed its deformation ability and I also carried the thermal analysis which analyzed how fast temperature can pass through the sample. I later on carried the drop test which analyzed the impact of external load on the sample. And lastly, I carried out the hardness test which analyzed how strong a material can resist to indentation. After carrying out the test, the results showed that 5% palm kernel shell reinforcement reduced the amount of money spent in making concrete and also increased the mechanical properties of concrete. Through carrying out this project, I got a chance to expand my knowledge and understanding in different areas, such as learning how to use different testing machines and also carrying out different simulations to be able to identify how the material and the sample reacts to the different forces applied on them and I got a chance to learn how to interpret the data presented to me which talks about the type of bond created between materials in the concrete mixture. 